Hello everyone, this is Zion and welcome to my game guide where we try to teach you the basics to get around your game uh, as efficiently as possible without giving everything away. Today uh, we are going to be looking at Outdoor Retreat, the game pack that you can buy separately. Uh, game packs are kind of like mini expansions. They do offer quite a lot. They can give you new skills, new items, new collectibles, new clothes, uh, and a few different traits or aspirations. There's a little of everything added with game packs and some offer more in some areas while others offer some in in different areas. Uh, with Outdoor Retreat, it is kind of like a mini vacation game pack uh, where you can spend a vacation going camping. In order to go camping, the first thing we're going to look at, there's two different ways to do that. You can use your computer, and by doing that, you just click on the computer, click on Household, and you can find Go on Vacation right there, and that'll tell you where you can go on vacation. And as of this game pack release, there is only one place you can go on vacation, which is the campsite. Now, the other option you can do is use the phone. Uh, same option, go to career or household. And then you should be able to find take vacation day. Um, and that will help you. That will help you uh, take your vacation day. Um, or you could just go on vacation here. While you're on vacation, uh, your Sims will use their vacation days. As you can see in the career tab, uh, which is this briefcase, you will have your job. And then right here, it'll say vacation available. Uh, as for Bobby here, he does have zero days of vacation. So he has used them all. Um, but uh, Abigail here does have two days of vacation. So while we're there, those vacation days will be used up and she'll still get paid for work. Any Sim does start with three vacation days, but anytime they get uh, a different job, that will start over. They accrue quite quickly, so you can get quite a few vacation days and take quite a lot of time off. Unfortunately, you do not get promotions or anything while you're on vacation time. But we will take Bobby and Abigail on vacation, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do this by phone, and we're going to click on the car to travel to take a vacation. And we're just, we're going to leave the kids at home. We have Josh, Haley, and uh, our other, oh, there we go, Isabel. Where they're all going to stay home. We're going to take Bobby and Abigail on vacation. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So she's calling to make that vacation. And as you can see uh, right now, our vacation spots, which if you look in the world's view, are highlighted by this this star, which shows destination worlds there, rather than the other option, which is all the neighborhood type worlds. Uh, right now, there is the one, which is Granite Falls, and that's where we're going to be going. So you just click on that, and you go right into Granite Falls, and immediately you have the option to pick a campsite. Uh, as you can see, when you highlight it, it shows how many beds and baths are in each campsite uh, there, as well as the price per day, 397 simoleons per day for this one, 282 per day for this one, uh, 635 per day for this one, 893 a day for uh, this huge cabin, or you could just go to the campground for 111 simoleons per day. And that's probably the best option, as you can also pick up a tent to sleep in, and it's almost as good as renting one of these cabins. Uh, also in here, you can notice the non-neighborhood type lot, which is kind of your um, venue type lots, and you have the national park, which we'll visit and show you around a little bit in there. But let's go ahead and click on this campground and rent this out. Now, once you do that, it gives you the options for how many t days you want to rent it. And you can, let's go ahead and do two days here and do that. At any point, you can go back home. If you choose seven days and leave after two days, that's quite all right. I don't believe you get a refund for that, but you always have the option to leave. All right. Now, once you get into your campground, you will find that you have this nice little campground location. It comes with picnic table, barbecue, and even a fire pit that you can use. Um, the first thing you want to do is buy some supplies. A lot of simmers seem to miss the opportunity to buy tents and whatnot that they need, and it can be a little confusing at first. So we're going to show you how to do that. Uh, first thing you want to do, uh, you can look at all the different lots. As you can see, the cabins that we did notice before that you could rent are all right here. 
so every lot is available to access on foot once you get to where you're at. Uh, what you want to do is go to the center location, which we have this nice little statue here. And next to that, you can see a little visitor's post. And that's where we're going to go to do everything we need. Uh, you can go to lodging, go to the bathroom, explore the woods, or read camping information. By exploring the woods, you will be going to the National Forest, and we'll show you how to do that in a minute. But first thing we want to do is just buy some supplies and set up camp. So let's go ahead and get there. All right. And as soon as you get here, you can see there's a lot of different supplies. You can get uh, the little blow-up mattresses. You can get a, a kid's violin while you're there. You can even get some food. Uh, one thing that I enjoy doing most, uh, as you can see, there's grow fruit. There, there's a lot of different things. And grow fruit you can take home and grow at home if you'd like. Uh, there's mega coolers. So let's go ahead and just grab ourselves a mega cooler. And uh, we can get a folding table. We can get other types of fires. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do to go through here. But the biggest thing you do want is a tent. So we're just going to get an easy camper tent. And let's go ahead and grab that. And they can be kind of pricey, I know, but it is kind of the part of going through that. As you can see, and the game does come with a bear costume. you got people with bears that try to go around and scare people. And as you can see, uh, he's just coming up to talk to me right now. So let's go ahead and go back to our campsite. Which, if you notice, as you're playing the game, can be kind of difficult to manage what you're doing in the game and where you're at. Because it is quite large trying to get through especially with all the trees kind of covering everything up you can't really see uh, one thing that does come with the game is you have the horseshoes option here and that's just a fun little thing your sims can do while they're while they're camping but let's go ahead and get Abigail here and as soon as you get here you want to go to your inventory and let's find our tent um, there we are there's our tent and you can just place that tent there and you're pretty much set up. That's all you really need. Let's go ahead and get our cooler out as well. And apparently I have way too much in my inventory here. So here we go, our mega cooler. And I'll show you the options with those things. There are a lot more options with the other items you might pull out. But as you can see, you click on the cooler, you can get a drink. Uh, you can have a quick meal. You can even sit on the cooler or sit with somebody else on the cooler. It's kind of like a mini fridge doesn't have a whole lot of options but there are options there pretty much things you might see in a cooler uh, with the tent you it's pretty much like a bed you can woohoo while you're in the tent you can sleep nap do pretty much anything you would do in a bed as well as plan outfits as you would or, or read a wilderness digest uh, so it's kind of like reading a book like you would on a couch or sofa or plan outfits like you would a dresser um, but this is what you really need to get your sleep done while you're camping. You've got your food cooler right there. Uh, as far as eating, you are going to want to use either the fire pit or barbecue quite a lot. And you can have people kind of gather around the fire, which is quite nice. And here's where you roast things. And yes, you can roast beetles if you have beetles. As your cooking skill goes up, you can roast other insects. And yes, those insects are edible. Um, I'm not sure if that's the best idea, but you can do that. Barbecue, as always, you can brew an herbal remedy or you can just grill a bunch of different foods. And we'll get to the herbal remedy here in just a bit. Um, all right. As far as collectibles you get in Outdoor Retreat, uh, there is quite a lot, which I enjoy collecting things while I'm in the game. And if we look at Bobby here, if you see these little tanks with the gold rim, those are all insects he's collected. Uh, that's their dust spirits, ladybugs, there's mantis. And the best way to find bugs is really just to zoom in and walk around. As you can see, um, I'm not really seeing any bugs right now, but if you walk around quite a bit, the wilderness preserve is quite large, and you can find start finding bugs pretty quickly uh, just by looking at movement. Uh, they do come and go pretty quick, so once you find them, you're going to want to hold them in place. There are little decorative things like the squirrel you just saw pass, and those are things you can collect. Um, as we see here, we do have butterflies, though, so we can collect those insects. And there are quite a lot of different insects you can collect. Here's some flies over here. I do not believe you can collect those flies. Uh, while you're camping, you do want to use the bathroom. If you didn't get a cabin, 
there are restrooms right here so you can use your restroom or take a shower and that will cover most of your needs if you can have fun around the barbecue the only thing you're going to be missing is the hygiene and as you can see you can take a shower right here in the bathroom so while you're camping you can take all care of all the needs that you really need to do we'll let bobby go ahead and gather up those butterflies and then we're going to take you to the woods so let's zoom back out and find our center place with the statue now i think i got turned around here a bit as i mentioned it can be quite big here's our statue right here all right so the statue we can learn schematics etc so there, there's not a whole lot with the statue but let's go ahead and click on our visitors cabin which is right next to it and we're going to explore the woods and that's going to take us to be able to view the whole world and then we'll be able to travel to the uh, National Forest. All right, after clicking Explore the Woods, you can go back, um, you can go back to different lots, which would almost seem pointless since you can't see everything from this one lot. And you can move around freely between all these lots. Uh, what you do want to do is go to Granite Falls Forest. We're gonna find a lot more bugs, a lot more herbs to collect, and even a larger ranger's cabin that you can check out things at. So we'll go ahead and go straight to that. All right, so here we are in our <laughs> national forest. Uh, as you can see, we did just go with just Bobby. There is the ranger station also right here in the middle. And as you can see, he's already collected quite a lot of insects. He's got stink bug, he's got mantis. We can view those. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we can steal those. And he's also got a few frogs. Um, as far as collectibles, like I did mention, there's a whole new section of insects and butterflies you can collect. Um, as well as a few more herbs and fish, which I will not get too into. Um, but we can go and start collecting things now that we're here in the forest. And let's just see if we can find some few more insects around here to collect. As you can see, there's another herb. It's just a wild plant. Uh, this is one difference with outdoor retreat is... Many of the wild plants won't specify what they are unless you know what they are. So you have to go and you can harvest them. Now, once you've harvested them, uh, do we have anything available? All right, so there's nothing available. So we're going to go ahead and harvest that real quick and then show you some of the new interactions with that. All right, so we've harvested our plant. And let's see if we can find it. All right, he does have some cooked beetles there. Um, I'm not seeing any unidentified fruit. Here's where we wanted to get to. And that's just going to show up in your inventory. And once you do this, you can either attempt to identify or eat unidentified fruit. I do not recommend eating unidentified fruit. All the major herbs or berries that come with Outdoor Retreat have a toxic counterpart to them. So there will be, say, we have, uh, what do we have here? Um, we have noxious elderberry, which is the negative elderberry. Though it's going to be very unhealthy for you. And then we have regular elderberries here. And all the different herbs will have, we have huckleberry there. And we have fire leaf or we have poison fire leaf. So there are good and bad things with all the different herbs. All right. So once you get into your herb collecting and your insect collecting, I'm not seeing a whole lot of insects here. Like I've mentioned, it is best just to kind of zoom in and travel around with your sim so you can more easily identify those bugs. They can be very hard to see. And I'm not seeing any just yet. But once you get around to it, there are different insects uh, during different times of the day. You can definitely find fireflies at night, which is a lot easier, um, while others will be out in the day. And then once you get into your herbs and your insects, you can start the herbalism skill. As you can see here, that is a new skill with Outdoor Retreat. And Bobby here does have herbalism level 5. And we'll show you what you can do with that. So we're going to go ahead and travel back to our campsite. And if we can find Bobby again. All right, and just click on this house and we'll go back to lodging. Um, it's easier than finding uh, another option to do it. And we'll get back to campsite and shoot herbalism, which we will be doing on the barbecue. 
All right, we have made it back to the campsite and we're going to go to our barbecue and this is where we can roast up some of our delicious herbs and bugs and make an herbal remedy. Uh, with what we have currently, if you highlight over each one, you can see the different op things you need to make each one. Here we would need termites, huckleberry, and sage to make a tummy therapy. Uh, most of the remedies will either do one of two things. They will uh, eliminate or fix an emotion, as you can see, sadness here, or de-stressing there, or a need, as you can see, with tummy therapy here. Um, so if you just click on that, we will start brewing up an herbal, re herbal remedy, um, just like we would on the stove. Now, herbal remedies, as I just mentioned, you can also do on the stove uh, once you get home. Uh, the disadvantage of doing them at home is you can't collect insects that you need while you're at home. You will have to be out here in the campground to collect those insects. Now, let's see if we can find this herbal remedy we just made. And I'm not seeing it anywhere. Okay, here we are. It comes in these nice, cool, we have the Sadness Alleviation Potion, and it comes in these nice little jars, as you can see, and they will all come in similar, in similar format. Uh, elsewise, in Outdoor Retreat, there is a new trait, uh, which I'll let you look at when you get there. There's also a new Aspiration, and if we select new aspiration here, we can see there's outdoor enthusiast, which is the newest aspiration with outdoor retreat. Um, so just as any expansion, it does add a little bit of everything. If you want to look at the items in the clothes, there's a lot of simmers out there that may cover those. Um, so go ahead and check those out. If you're interested, for me, I'm more about the gameplay. Uh, there's a lot more options with the fire. If you have a guitar, you can sing around the fire or tell camp fire stories and get more in depth with that. And last but not least, there is a secret lot with Outdoor Retreat. And that secret lot I will show you in a different game guide. If you're interested in doing that, I do not want to spoil it here uh, with the basic Outdoor Retreat game guide. Also, just check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, I hope this helps you and have a amazingly fantastic day. Thanks for watching.